all right so once again welcome to my channel so in this uh, video i'm bringing something that will be of value to you i can assure you for free this is going to change your real estate investment journey so if you're a real estate investor and now uh, you're just coming across this channel you are highly welcome you are highly welcome so stay to the end of this video and you will be glad with it. so my name is Alisa Dewali so click the link below and subscribe to the channel and you'll be glad with it thank you so I believe what I'll be talking about is analyzing the smart city and I'm sorry the new Lagos which is actually a smart city because everyone has heard about the smart city the new Lagos the this one the one every time but the question is have you been able to pinpoint the right place to invest hmm. because the thing is a lot of investors follow trend I'm curious with developers right? so if people are moving towards the Bejeleke I go to Bejeleke if people are going towards a Gondo I go to a Gondo if people are going towards this place but the thing is in the next three four five years where will be the main place Nigeria. So let's say you're coming from VI, then the left, the left is Lekki, then you get to Ikati, then you get to Osakba, then you get to Chevron, then you get to Ochi, then you get to Ikota, then you get to Aja. Then the next place you take the flyover, you get to Ibrahim Addison, yeah, you get to Songo Tendo, Awoya, Yala, Kwe. Then you're approaching the new Lagos. In fact, from, from Songo Tendo, Axis, you can consider those places as part of the new Lagos. Then after Awoya, yeah, you get to us. On a sand coal, then you get to Eleko. Now, the thing is, Eleko is, in the future will be like a roundabout. Let me explain why. Now, because there'll be cars coming from Ekbe, coming from Ibejileki axis, that's a free trade zone axis, and coming from Awoyaya. Now, they have to find a way for them to manage and control this traffic. Now, that will lead to the expansion of the right side, which is the Eleko road. Now, there's a tendency they might break into some of the estate there. Why? Because currently, it can only take two cars, one on the left, one on the right. Now, but if you go to your left, you are approaching, you have gotten into the Eleko Road, and you'll be approaching the Dangote Refinery and other places. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it. But let me talk about the, the left-hand side. The left-hand side is Idaraskin. There are scheme is a very there's no it's just by the road and roadside. But when you go to your right, you approach Eleko. That's where Amen Estate is, right? Now on the left of that Eleko road is the Lekki Free Trade Zone access. That where, that where you have the Dangote Refinery. That's where you have the the Power Oil, the Lagos Free Trade Zone, the Lekki Free Trade Zone, Okunfolo, Demi, Fargon. Then on the right hand side is where you have the Gondo. And Gondo is the coastal line, it's a coastal road. And that coastal road leads to where? Oniru, Okwaja, Songotedo. Now, this is it. Let me not forget one major place. If you are going straight, rather than you turning to your right, you are going straight to Ibeju. Now, Ibeju is the road network where the airport is, the Pan African University, the Eleganza. And after Ibeju is when you approach Ekpe. Now, this is the thing. The question is this. What is the look-alike of these areas currently? Now, a typical look-alike of Igondo is Oniru. Mm. And that's one of the major things of Oniru. You really see trucks. You really see a lot of... Mm -mm. It's a very reserved place for resorts and, and hotels. Now, a type and shop, a type of um, Lekki Fridges and Way Dangote Refinery is is um, is Apapa Wharf. And then Apapa Wharf, we have shipping lines there, we have shipping um, depots there, we have containers. It's always jam packed. It's always, we are going to have Tinkan Island like that also there, right? Now, a type and shadow, a type of Ibeju is going to be like Ajawa Estate. Why? Because it's close to the airport. And in Ajawa we're going to have Sako, we're going to have Nako, we're going to have Fan. And if you have been to, if you're coming from International Airport, the Maritala Mohammed Airport, going straight, approaching Ajawa Estate, you see hotels, 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 hotels. So now, Ibeju is a very fantastic place, a shady place for hotels, as well as warehouses, because of freight, air freight goods. Now, the next place is Ekwe. Now, it, it probably will be a touch of Suileri, Ikeja, and Bega. Why? Because it probably leads to three major places. Inside the island, out of Lagos, following the Ekpe Ejebodi road, and to the mainland. You can either follow the Ejebodi road, 
connect to Bega or you can follow Ikorodu Road. And that's why government has been expanding the Ikorodu Road. Now, those are the type of it. Now, let's bring it down now. So, now let's go back to the Apapa Wharf area. Now, you can notice that, you notice that Apapa Wharf is always filled with traffic. Now, let's take it back to down to the refinery area. That place is going to be filled with a lot of containers. So, it's not going to be the best place for residential. However, there might be some one or two hotels far inside towards that Lippe access. That's where we have the Lacaban Tropicana. But there's not going to be so much hotels. And what the government do? The government has sold a part of Igondo to hotel companies. And the problem with Igondo currently is the Gazette is in front and behind is extension layout, which is extension, um, extension block, which means extension project, which means no land. And so government is smart enough not to give the full land because firstly, they are expanding the coastal road. That's why we have the Aetoro coastal road. That connects before you get to a local. They have expanded the road. Now the goal is they will not see trucks will not pass that place. Mm -mm. Trucks cannot fly that road. No, don't. Mm -mm. And that's why if you're familiar with the Lagos Future Zone, where we have the power oil, we have the dog fuel, they have started some feeling. There was a time a an Indian client of mine went towards Oshiroko and coming back, we brand them. We discovered that there are so many foreign companies that are there, right? that are burning this one on a regular basis but they are futuristic believing that this place will yield so much now the question is if you're in nigeria and abroad or you're in nigeria in nigeria why haven't you invested where foreigners are even seeing the value now when we got into lagos future zone we discovered that government is some feeling now that means they're going to have a road network behind from ibeju um, leki future zone access to ibeju now the truth is this Eleko is going to be expanded. The trucks are going to pass from down to refinery side to Eleko and then access Ibeju. At the same time, there's going to be a road network from Ibeju Leki to Ibeju. Now, the question is where is the next best place to invest? There are two major places which I would advise, which are safe and are good Ibeju and Ekbe. Because when the trucks come from Lagos Free Trade Zone, from Dangote Axis, they will access Eleko Road. Eleko is not going to be a good place for residential property. There's going to be pom 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 pom. And that's why, if you look at it, Imine said had to take their other project inside. It's a strategy. They understood what it means to have a residential common. They had to take it inside so that it will be comfortable for their next occupant, right? Now, that's the same thing that Eleko Road is going to, there's going to be an expansion. It's going to touch into some estate and some uh, filling station currently. But small trucks will follow their way access and that's why government currently is expanding the Lakwe road their way road down to vgc but majority of the trucks will go through ibeju and Ekpe. so every smart investor needs to pick a property at ibeju and also pick a property at Ekpe now now what are the properties that ibeju we have now just like the airport area is in, in mainland Ibeju will be the next big place for residential properties like Ajawa Estate. It's also going to be the next big place for where you can buy your hotels, your Airbnb apartments, your shortlet. That's going to be a good place. It's where you can have your filling station, your restaurants. Because guys flying from coming from coming from wherever they're coming from using the airport, we need to eat. And not all of them, finally, in the on, on, in the Muritala Mohammed Airport, you really see fast foods. Is it, is, so where will they eat? Now, coming out, that is where you should get your fast food. And so that's why the development prices in those locations have spiked up in recent times. And government currently um, took some land at Okego for the airport. So government interest has increased on the left-hand side. But on the right-hand side is where you need to own properties. And we can always prescribe properties. After Ibeju, the next place I will advise anybody to invest in is Ekpe. And that's why you notice Alara City went towards that angle. And they're also going to be having commercial properties there. Now, these commercial properties will go to the mainland. Mainland has much more uh, um, buying capacity than, you know, buying, buying ratio than the highland currently. Why? Because there are so many people on the mainland. Now, over the over time, we've discovered that where yeah, Lakwe has experienced over forty percent increase in the last ten years. So, in the last two years than the last ten years, meaning 
over a lot of people have moved to this axis more in the last two years than the last 10 years and so compare now compare look at look at Ekpe in that in, 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 in some years time Ekpe currently uh, uh, we're checking on a two-bedroom apartment a two-bedroom apartment was going for 400k in Ekpe and I'm wondering why it shows that Ekpe is already having the migration and people are looking for affordable um, 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 houses and Ekpe is the next thing. that's why you see that over time there have been um, there have been move of offices I've seen a lot of offices in Ekpe we've seen a lot of government projects in Ekpe we've seen a lot of universities in fact yesterday we were going to Ekpe we saw Lasso we saw Michael Tudela, um University they have turned like a, a, a college of education to a university they have also turned uh, there's, uh, there's um, Yaba campus in fact yes at yesterday we discovered they had all resumed Hostels were built and hostels were now painted. Now it shows that a pair is going to not just be a place for warehouses, host, um, hotels. It's also going to be a place for to accommodate campuses, meaning they're going to be hostels. It's also going to be a place where there's going to be a modern market. That's why you notice that um, government has currently created a market to, um, into the a, a modern market before the T junction at Ekpe. So Ekpe is going to be the residential hub of all of this jam and all this, all of this traffic and stuff. It's going to be Ekpe that's going to suck it in. At the same time, it's going to be the place for comfort. Why? Because it's surrounded by lagoon. These are where you can build your 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 getaway houses, your um, relaxation houses. And on recent time, Michael Otodela, I'm sorry, Femi Otodela has some major project there too. And so Ekpe is the next big place after Ibeju. Why? Because Ibeju is because of the airports, the, the whole road network is going to move to Ibeju, um, it's going to pass through Ibeju. But after that, everything is going to still lead to Ekpe. So Ekpe is the next big thing. Ekpe is the place you need to build your filling station, your hostels, your hotels, your Airbnb, your, your residential property, your comfort, your getaway, your retirement house. Ekpe is the next thing. Ekpe is the next thing. Ah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, and I'm just, I'm just thinking of, of what to say next. So, so, um, for every developer investor, let me just calm down. What am I saying in, in essence? Now, just like every developer have moved from Ibeju, Eleko, Igondo in recent times to Ibeju and Ekpe. It shows that they are also seeing the limelight in this location and every investor should be able to move as well. Now the recent development, if you check it now of de de developers are mostly Bedjan A lot of no people nobody really talks about Igordo and even no no. They have moved here because this is where um, development is going to be massive.